Alright, welcome back to another game. We've got no GG and a couple of ring-ins versus the Nova boys and a couple of ring-ins. And here we go. And I've got the Marines, they've got Atrium, and the Aliens, they have Data Core, and I've got to tell you, I love Close Hive and Chairs. It's just great. You get the contact straight away. You see here, two Marines straight into Reactor Core. And the uh, aliens, they have just spread out straight away. You can see them heading through Vent, Crossroads. And it looks like they're heading through to Sub. I'm trying to scope out where the, uh, where the Marines are. And you see here this little alien over here. Who's that, Eastwood? He would have heard them at Crevice there. He'll know where they are. And MF here, he would have heard them in Reactor Core. So they know that it's going to be an atrium. They know it's going to be close encounter of the, you know, the two hives going to be so close. It's going to be a good, exciting match, this one. And now the Marines know that there's a hive in Data Core. Cloaking Veil straight up, so this will be interesting. Get their cloak on, try and sneak up behind them. It's not a strat that you often see, but I, I, I do like it. I reckon it's great. It allows them to sneak right up to them and get a bite in before they even know about it. Marines here pushing hard through Summit Reception. One's heading through to flight control, the, the other two are heading through to crossroads. And I'll take the RT here in crossroads. I'll try and set up map control, I'll probably take over the, the left hand side of the map. Probably not go too much further than computer labs I'd say, try not to outstretch themselves and, and over commit. But you can see here the marines there, and that, oh sorry the aliens there, they're trying to take that reactor force, start pressuring their res straight up. Contact and crossroads here. It'll be a 1v1 because it'll be good to see who wins this one. And Slayer gets the job done. Still more pressure here in Reactor Core. You can see here the cloaking's doing its job. Scatter here. He doesn't even know the MF's there until it's too late, but backup comes in and they just roll the aliens. As MF saying there, he just got that little bit too close to the OBS, which is here. And yeah, as you know, OBS will um, uncloak any aliens that are there. And he just went that little bit too close, and um, and it pinged him, so it gave away his hiding spot. You see here the, the chilling on the RTs here in Crossroad, trying to keep their res down. And Recon's here, he'll drop down and pick off the last one behind him. Oh, here we go, this is going to be great. A whole bunch of cloaked aliens just pouncing on unsuspecting marines. That's why I love the cloaked. It's just it, it's good to be able to close the distance without them even knowing you're there. And MF here, you should be get cut, yeah. Save his res tower. And aliens doing a good job picking apart all their res. Uh, you know that there's three, four res towers up. And three of that four have aliens chewing on them. See here at Crevice here is going to be another contact here, Recons. He just stops biting, gets his cloak on, and <laughs> the commander pinged him, so he just go to town on that RC as much as he can before he gets dispatched. You can see here the aliens working as a team here. Trying to sneak up on the Marines here in Crossroads. They've got a phase down, so. You know, they're going to try and control the map through crossroads. And I want to try and hold on to this, but there's still two aliens left now, three. And there'll be plenty of marines pouring through that phase gate. But I think these aliens might just be able to do this and limit, and limit that phase gate. Be interesting to see if they can do it. It'll be a tough fight. Aliens just claim sub. Get the second hive going in sub, which is obviously the smart option. That they, they wouldn't choose crossroads or flight. It's just it's too risky. It's too close to the marine spawn. It's this way they can grow it up. And look what we've got here. Kartosh is going to walk in there. He saw the hive and he's going to run back. Maybe even build up power. Put a phase gate in here at computer labs. Is he? 
I believe he'll be waiting for a phase. Yep, there it, there it goes there. Now the, the aliens probably don't even know that he's sitting there. There's no aliens in the area to hear that. So this will be a, a complete surprise attack. They'll probably get all the marines just to just to jump through there and then just hammer and absolutely hammer sub access. There is one little gorgy there keeping an eye out. But here come the three marines ready to go in and storm that hive. All the aliens have them mobilized though. I'm not going to try and deal with that threat. And let's go down to the bush. Just pump ammo into that hive. And here come the marines. They're coming through computer lab. Looks like they're trying to get rid of that phase gate. But it's too late, boys. That hive is down. And they haven't even got the phase gate down. That's surprising, I thought they would have tried to you know, at least stop it and the lurk down as well. So that's been a massive hit for the aliens there. Not only have they lost that second hive, but they've lost the lurk, and now they're losing another RT and they've also lost a gorge as well, so it's a massive blow there for the aliens. And the aliens know that they're coming up through subs, so they're going to be hitting them hard through ventilation and preventing any more marines from venturing up into their last article hive. Aliens still trying to pressure that phase, just using their cloak to get in close, do a couple of bites, and every time they do that they've been doing more and more damage. We're just running into a marine there. His cloak going off. But he's, he, he's been dispatched. Now the marines here, they're back up to four, uh, sorry, up to three RTs with the fourth one being built any second now in computer lab. But you can see here they've got the res. They're keeping that 40 res for any future hives. Now, I mean they're looking to set up here in sub, so I don't think sub's going to be a viable viable alternative for them any any time soon. That they know it's close to their hive. They know they're going to want sub. I think the only alternate's going to be crossroads at this point. But there are so many ways for them to access crossroads. It's it is hard to defend, especially when the marines can sit so far back and just tee off on the hive, especially with those machine guns. You can see him here pushing through up into data core and taking that vent RT. They'll be trying to do what the aliens did at the first part of the match. Limit their res, keep them locked down, keep map control, spend up on tech and then just finish them off. And that RT goes down in vent. Meanwhile, MF is having a bit of a chew on that phase gate. And I reckon he will have that down before any marines come through. Uh, no, we're going to see one come through. Will he be able to take him down? No, he won't. Another one through? This will almost certainly no. He's done it again. Looks like that phase is down, so that's a, that's a decisive blow for the marines there. Looks like they may drop the second hive here in sub. They're three res off. No, he's just spent it on... He's obviously spent it on another RT at... Yeah, he spent it over there at Vent. Now that they've got sub back, it's now back an alternative... or oh, a viable alternative for that second hive instead of crossroads. And you can see here the Marines. Um, you know, that they've had to basically start again. You know, in that quick time that phase gate's gone down, the Marines have tried to spread as much as they can, try and take out as much res as they can, and the sub's been claimed again. Here it is growing up. Recon's there, finishing off that res, but he can hear Marines coming in, so he'll cloak up, slip behind him, 
and then have a bit of a nibble on them when they turn around. And he'll do it again and repeat the process. Here we've got Gov the Lurk, he's um he's taken some serious heat here in round before. Two lurks now, so this will this will be GG for those Marines in the reactor core. They'll be finished off pretty quickly. Still don't want to give it up though, do they? Here comes the support, so not much they can do about that. Oh, Gov came so close to going down then. Recon's chewing on that RT. Told him what a good little skulk should do. Man, that RT's been recycled. Here comes an offensive here with the Marines. They're pushing straight through on the data core. See if they can put some hurt on it. There's only two of them here. There's a third one coming up behind it. I think that'll be too much, especially with the amount of support in there. The skulls will be pouring in there in a second, trying to finish them off. And that'll be it for the Marines in that area. Uh, that, that comes a little bit too smart for Recon's antics, but hasn't helped him at all. Could he still be able to dispatch that last Marine there? Now you can see the, the aliens here, they're, they're really starting to take over the map now. Recon's here holding off Summit Reception and then putting a lot of pressure in Reactor Core. It's just really bottlenecking those Marines. They're unable to get out and start taking the res, and all it's doing is now sub axis finishing all it's doing is just allowing the marines to grow up, uh, the aliens to grow up, get all their res, uh, get their all their extra abilities, and, and they'll start bringing the pain shortly. I have been on the pleasure, oh I should have, I've been on the receiving end of a no GG assault and I can tell you it is um it is harsh and brutal so it'll be interesting but the Marines there they're really starting to fight back and pushing through flight control now. Putting pressure on the little gorgy that's hiding over at computer labs there. And also too at crossroads as well. We'll see here we'll just follow the lurk for a little bit. Going back in there for a heal, and um, he's probably heading over through crossroads to start trying to deal with the people at flight. You see him here, he's coming through. Yeah, he'll, he'll be here to mount a bit of an assault about these marines here in Summit. And flight controls being claimed for their second chair. So they'll build that up, build that up as a secondary spot. They've got a phase there as well. Leap has been completed and, and Blink is on the way, so we will see a fade and it's going to be Recon's is the fade. One Marine sitting in Data Core, he was dispatched very, very quickly. Probably to serve a, as a bit more of a, <laughs> a bit more of a distraction more than anything, but at least now they know that there's a, a fade up there. Now, sub access hive. It looks like it is going to be in danger. They're putting obs up to stop the skull, no, the um, cloaking aliens from getting in too close before they're detected. And here, this area here, Computer Lab's going to be vital. Inks down to try and try and block the vision of the Marines. And look at this little cheeky little skull here. Gov having a chew, trying to distract some Marines away from the assaults at Computer Labs. And here it's just going to be a battle royale. We'll see if we can get in there and have a decent look. And see what the Marines can see up there at that little fortified area up there. Nothing but a bit of clogs. There's a couple of hiders around the area in a shade. Um, but it's going to be the island. It's fighting the resistance. And even a bone wall will try and stop it from getting in there and just storming the area. going to town on any alien structure they see. And that shade 
they're going down. And he's taking a clock now. And they'll clear it from the lab. Get a power up to it. Get a phase down. And then mount an assault on sub. Not quite as sneaky as they did before, since the Marines obviously know that they're there. But they've got the firepower, and they may just be able to do it. Nesbo going down in crossroads there. Two lurks and a skunk all after him. His, his days were numbered from the start. And RT and computer labs going down. Bowmall's up again just to try and prevent the onslaught. They're trying to chase down that fade, but the only problem is they didn't see all the life forms behind them that are going to finish him off. Gee, it seemed like a, that death of a marine for Scatter was a bit delayed there. You can see MF was thinking about going in there to try and finish off King there, but he's a bit worried about overcommitting, and rightfully so too. Especially since he was, he was under half hurt. You can see Scatter there just poking his head up underneath here, try and see if he can sneak in there get rid of that shade, and he's done well there he's done real well and look what we've got here I mean, we've got Carapace, we've got Regen, we've got Crag, Bulbomb, and Recons. He's got the Magic 75 Res. So it'd be interesting to see if... I mean, there's no doubt he will go Onos. And, yep, he's done it. Now let's see if we can find it. Now, I doubt he would have done it in sub. I dare say it is going to be Data Core. Sorry about that, I'm back after a little intermission there, an unplanned intermission I might add. You see here the Onos is up and he is heading through reactor core and probably about here he will be pinged, yep. And here he comes into their base and he's going to go straight for the power. And will the beacon come up? Beacon's going to come up with that power node's going down regardless. And this is going to be the beginning of the end. The Marines are coming back, but... You know, Command station taking it's damage. trivial at this point, especially with, with no power there. They're just going to get finished off, and then they're going to continue the onslaught. Even with the combat and the chair, it's all over. Well done, that was a really good play there. Privilege watching a game like this. So